In the corner of the garage is another use of suspended particle device technology by Research Frontiers. This is not a place you'd normally see a window, but we use it here to highlight an innovation you wouldn't normally get to see. This is the GFX Drain Water Heat Recovery System, a completely passive system that captures the heat from hot water as it goes down your drain and uses it to raise the temperature of new water coming into your shower or sink. It can triple your hot water heating capacity and help reduce your hot water bill by up to 50%. Having no moving parts or heating elements, so there's nothing to wear out. It operates on the principle of gravity film exchange, where hot wastewater falling down a vertical section of drain pipe clings to the inner surface in a very thin film, taking the path of least resistance. The heat from this film is efficiently transferred to incoming cold water, circulating around the GFX through an independent circuit outside of the drain pipe. The incoming cold water, running in counter flow to the wastewater, is preheated before it enters the water heater, thereby reducing the amount of energy needed to meet the desired temperature. It has no internal wells either, so you need not worry about contamination and its self-cleaning design assures maintenance-free operation. The GFX can be installed quickly by a professional plumber or by a do-it-yourselfer in just a few hours. The first step is to determine the correct GFX model for your installation. Locate the vertical section of drain pipe, usually near where it exits the house, most homes have one main pipe. However, depending on the building size and the location of bathrooms and appliances, more than one vertical pipe may be installed. Measure the diameter of the pipe or pipes and the length of the vertical section. This is necessary to specify the correct model for your installation. Standard diameters vary between 4 inches and lengths at 30 and 60 inches. Begin the installation, turn off the main water supply. Remind all occupants within the building to not flush toilets or drain water from tubs or sinks until the installation is complete. It's a good idea to flush all toilets once the water is off to avoid an accidental flushing. Measure and cut a section of the vertical drain pipe that is the same measurement as the GFX model you are installing. Allow an additional half inch for fitting. Install two three inch no hub connectors to the drain pipe, top and bottom. Insert the GFX into the connectors and tighten the four screw latch straps that hold it in place. Next, you will have to locate the water line and cut it before it enters the water heater. It will be necessary to drain all water before final assembly can be made. Connect the bottom GFX tubing end to the inlet water flowing from the shutoff valve, routing as necessary. Connect the top GFX tubing end to the main water pipe that supplies the house, using care that they are in the proper order. Finally, turn on the main water valve and check the system for leaks. Now you're ready to enjoy an endless hot shower with little fear of running out of hot water. The beauty of the GFX is that the more hot water you use, the greater its efficiency. It's designed to be most effective when hot water demand is continuous. In this way, cold water entering your heater is preheated, thereby requiring less energy to be brought up to the proper temperature requirements. The GFX is a quality product that really works. It's been independently tested by utilities like Virginia Power and Pennsylvania Power and Light. They concluded that the GFX drain water recycling unit is an extremely effective heat exchanger. Its measured effectiveness, recycling efficiency, was very close to...